The King's Dorm is specially brought to you by Devon Kings. It's the one-stop show that will take you on different adventures and open your eyes to different possibilities. In this first season, we will be exploring remakes of popular Nigerian meals. Yeah, I know. You're thinking, what else can be new about food we've been eating since forever? Well, we know you are not tired of that meal. You are just tired of making and eating it the same way. Ikuru is another popular beans-based recipe from the southwestern part of Nigeria. Also known as white moi moi, it is loved and largely eaten by the people of Kwara and Ondo state of Nigeria. Ikuru, just like moi moi, is made from dehulled and blended beans. The only difference is Ikuru isn't spiced with pepper or palm oil like most people do with moi moi. Also, Moi moi can be eaten alone, but ikuru is traditionally eaten with spicy atadinde, which is a fried stew, and eko, otherwise known as agidi. It has become one of those meals that reminds you of grandma's house. On this episode, we will see how a well-known staple can be transformed into something new and exciting. So the first thing that comes to my head when I hear ikuru is a good meal. Trust me. Fun memory? Um, it reminds me of like my hometown, my village, you know. Uh, when I was much younger, I used to go, you know, see my grandparents and my family and you know, they always used to bring the food to us and you know, we try, you know, sometimes you just try different things and Eku was one of them. And it was absolutely beautiful to just see how you could try something that you've never tried before and you just taste so good. So I'll say, yeah, hometown, yummy. Absolutely love it. Um First of all, the name sounds weird, but um, I feel like it reminds me of Moi Moi. It looks like Moi Moi, but like a white version of Moi Moi, so that's pretty much it. Hmm, the ekuru and fish sauce versus Moi Moi with egg. I'm not gonna lie, I really like Moi Moi, but I mean, the fish sauce does something very, very, very unique to this ekuru, you know, and when you have it together, the combination is just, it's just perfect, so yeah. I'll say ikuru and fish sauce. Okay, so I'm going to go for ikuru and fish sauce because I'm not a fan of my and egg. So, ikuru and fish sauce. Um, I'm going to take a risk and say ikuru and fish sauce. You know why? Because there's fish sauce. So, it's a more interesting meal than just moi moi with egg inside. I would go for ikuru and fish sauce because I feel ikuru is lighter. You know, the process um, it goes through in the preparation, it has to skin it. I should make up a song using a kuru. I don't know how to sing. This is a setup, but I'm going to try. A kuru, I love to taste you. <laughs> I'm stopping there, please. A <laughs> kuru. Dun, 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 dun. That's it, I'm done, man. I'm not a singer, but yeah. <laughs> All right, I just wrap. Off the top of my head, I'm sitting asking questions that I heard. They told me to talk about Ikuru. Now I'm doing it on a verse. Ikuru at Delhi KC, you can catch it anywhere. Make sure as well, garnish and spice if you like. You can add whatever condiment you find in the cabinet. It's cool. I could have it, you could have it. And everybody can have Ikuru. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Ikuru is the best, Iruku la la, Ikuru is the best, Ikuru la la, Ikuru is the best, Iruku la la. <laughs> On our show today, we have a very interesting recipe and a very interesting chef who strongly believes that there is a big difference between I can cook and I know how to cook. Not only does she believe it, she lives it. With years of experience in the food service industry and a string of novelty recipe creations under her belt, you definitely want to see the magic she has for us today. My name is Morenike Afolabi. I'm a wife, a mother, an entrepreneur, and a chef. I became inspired being a chef. 
I've always loved food. I've always loved good food, how it's made, and you know the process involved and all of that. Today, I'll be making a remake of um, bean pudding, which is known as ikuru in Yoruba language. It's a native food, peculiar to the western part of Nigeria, especially people from Kwara states and Ondo states. It's more like a staple food which can be enjoyed at any time of the day. I'm trying to bring in a bit of the northern um, culture of food into it. Ekuru is basically from the west, which is known with the Yorubas. And the Yaji spice is basically known with the Aousas, which is from the north. So I'm going to be infusing the northern um, fusion into it, which is the Yaji spice, to combine two cultures together in a meal. I'm a bit anxious because I'm hoping and I'm hoping that the guests will enjoy and love the meal as much as I do and as much as the people that have been eating it. I'm ready. Let's go do it. I will be making my kuru today by dehauling the beans and peeling it. Then I'll blend it and it's going to be steamed for like 30 minutes. While doing that, I'll prepare my sauce, which is the blended on rice pepper with the um, tomatoes, onions, and all other spices that it's going to go into it. My main star of the dish is the fish and the yaji spice, which I'm going to be incorporating as I'm cooking on it. No, no, no. Jello fries and chicken. Fried yam and grilled fish. Different meal requests by different family members? Yes. This can be such an exciting challenge. With Devon King's vegetable oil, there's an easy solution. <laughs> Devon King's vegetable oil is the best choice for all occasions. With guaranteed quality, Devon King's brings you great taste for this all your meals. Food. Devon King's, great taste for every occasion. Let's see what our guests okay. think of her rejig. Wow, I actually love this. Looks so nice. Wow. It's actually not bad. Actually not bad. Definitely better than Moi Moi. <laughs> I love this. Tastes really nice. The sauce, like I said, is the most important part of the dish. And the sauce came out spectacular. <sighs> well, my first time cooking in the kitchen is an experience of a lifetime for me. Because I get to project meals that I love eating and for people to see how it's made and how you can remake it to something that will suit your taste bud. A traditional Yoruba person would be astonished initially seeing me use the wigs to make it because the natural way of making it is mixing and mixing. So. Putting it in a mixer is to give you a fluffier and smoother texture like without having to exert too much energy on what you have to do and you get a better result. So I think it's a method everybody needs to try out. I decided to change the um, method of wrapping the pudding which is traditionally by using the leaves only but now I have to use the a baking pan, a circular baking pan to be precise, because I want a particular cut to enable me get a very good plating at the end of the day, which was what I actually achieved. 
Oh, would I love to come back? Would I love to come back? I would really love to be back on the set. You know what? This is just the tip of the iceberg. And you are having Chef Mo right here. She's got a lot to give you. So much recipes. So I'm really ready to excite your taste, but trust me, I would really, really love to come back to this kitchen. What do I think this Ikuru went to school? I think he went to school in University of Ibadan. You know, I mean, because like that's the, the indigenous, the history of Ikuru. And it feels like, well, okay, let me say it's a blend of UI and Oxford, you know, because there's like some, there's some bakeness in here, you know, it's a bit, it's a little baked. I can taste the bread, the cake, and I can still taste like the moin moin, the white moin moin. So I'll say UI and the masters Oxford. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> this Ekuru went to Oxford. Okay, I would say Harvard, but Oxford because it has a little mix of everything in there. It's spicy, you know, like I said, it's yummy and it's straight to the point. The first bite, the first bite, first spoon in your mouth tells you everything you need to know about the dish. And that's, that's why it's from Oxford. Um, I wouldn't give it an Nigerian school <laughs> for sure. Uh, I think I'll give it University of Bolton. Yeah, that's the school I attended, so yeah. Bolton University, good school. First thing that came to mind after my first bite was, oh, I wish I could actually stay behind and have more of this. But <laughs> also, um, I, I wasn't disappointed. This is so much fun, man. Uh, man, like, I think it's still my memories, you know? Like, man, I miss this. I miss eating this. And, you know, I can't wait to, like, have more of this, you know, very often, you know? So, yeah. Um, first thing, good texture. That's the first thing that came to my mind. And then when I looked at it, it looked like bread, but you know, it tasted better than bread. So um mm. so for two two portions of the bean cake and the fish stew or the fish sauce, I'd say maybe ten thousand naira, fifteen thousand naira. Yeah. Yeah, so if it's on the roadside, to me it shouldn't be more than five hundred naira. But you know, if it was a higher ed restaurant, okay, the likes of the ranges of 3K, 5K, it's decent. 2,500 to 3,000. And I'll tell you why. Because it's a delicacy and it's special, you know? And the people that enjoy eating a kuru are definitely going to pay premium, especially if it's well prepared. And this, top notch. Would I have guessed that this was the a kuru that I knew? Absolutely not. Like, this is like, some senior man ikuru like it's like a well polished well baked um ikuru and it's not it's not the regular stuff and i like the idea that you know it's been transformed into something beautiful if i would have guessed if this was the ikuru that i knew no i would have to ask questions because i feel this there's been like a little um you know a, a little improvement if i could say I thought it was bread, honestly. Sliced bread <laughs> and fish sauce. <laughs> Please. I, I would not mind if I could take some home with me. So definitely for the last question, that's a yes. This, I need to go with this package. I need mean, and these extra plates. Can I get extra plates? <laughs> Yes, please. <laughs> yes, I want to take away. I'm begging officially because I want to be part of this. Please, 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 please. Do try Chef Dictalus recipe at home and tell us what you think via the social media handles on your screen using our hashtag till we meet again on the next episode. Remember, it's not the meal you're tired of. It's eating the same way that has become boring. <laughs>